Welcome to the official documentation of the Smart AR package. Smart AR is a complete real-time editor for AR applications in Unity. To set up your scene with Smart AR Editor, you will need third-party plugins, AR Foundation and AR Core, depending on your device target. For now, I will use the Android platform. Create AR Session Origin and AR Session. Set main camera tag and let's add a smart AR prefab. Now your scene is ready for smart AR editor. You can fully customize the editor style, color, icons, events and more. The AR Manager contains many public events, which allow you to change any object in your scene at runtime. To specify some essential values on the AR Manager, assign the AR Session component. It's required for calibration. You can use two essential components called AR Streaming and AR Performance Stats. AR Streaming allows you to save and load your scene progress at runtime. Air Performance Stats allows you to view your application performance. Now let's add some objects you would like to edit at runtime. Let's create a simple cube as a basic example. You can choose any option of how to get the objects for runtime edit. For now, we will use specific game objects. You are able to edit some multiplication values which controls how fast will object move, rotate or rescale in the real-time editor. Editor UI is a pre-built class that contains required UI elements to visualize editor basic information like selected object name, hierarchy and more. Calibration is very required for non-marker AR systems. It sets the scene orientation and look for potential markers in real world. You can ask for calibration right away after startup. There is a special additional effect called camera render distance, which just controls the camera render distance. There are some gyroscope conditions which controls your AR system in much deeper perspective. It's great if your application will be focused on some public events where people are not that technical and might lead to the decalibration. The first condition called steady time simply controls device when the user doesn't move with it. There is a variable called max steady time which tells the program when user will not move with the device for 40 seconds, proceed to the calibration process. How simple is that? The second condition called zero gyro time controls device when user puts the device into zero gyroscope rotation or just puts the device onto the ground and gyroscope values are zero. This might decalibrate the application very quickly and the calibration will be required. So it simply says that when the device will be in zero gyroscope values for 3 seconds, proceed to calibration process. These maximum values can be changed, of course, by your own taste. Smart AR also contains some additional tiny scripts which were used in public and commercial projects. They allow you to observe objects right in the front of the virtual camera and you can track UI elements to 3D objects called trackers. 
They are mostly used for user information in AR applications and more. Thank you for your attention and I hope this smart AR will serve you well. Good luck!